Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Kovu, Kovu Kingsrud, and today I'm going to talk about being off testosterone for nine months. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, that's fine. I talk a bit more there about why I went off testosterone, but I will also mention that in this video. But just for context, I was on T for six years, I came out as trans in 2015, and I started T in 2018, in February. And I'm now 23, just turned 23 last week. Yeah, so uh, some people asked me to make more videos about this and to keep them coming. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, also worth mentioning is that this is coming from someone who, when going off tea, ideally would have wanted everything to stay the same. So had you asked, for example, a woman um, or someone detransitioning back to being a woman, these questions who were looking for those feminizing effects of going off testosterone, they would have probably given slightly different answers or maybe looked out for certain things that I'm not looking out for. So just keep that in mind when I'm reporting on the changes and everything. So and let's just jump right into it. These are questions that I got on Instagram that I'm replying to. So number one, did you get your period back? Yes, I did, but it's not like stable or it's not, um, it's not consistent. That's it. So that might also be because I have uh, Nexplanon, the implant in my arm, which probably also influences that because, you know, it's a contraceptive, so it will change your cycle. Has your skin changed? Uh, can't really say I've noticed any skin changes. Can't really say I've noticed any hair changes, body hair, facial hair. It's all the same. I still need to shave, but I've never had a beard, so I can't really comment on that. Fat redistribution. Maybe a little bit. I feel like I've lost that kind of like, kind of beer shaped belly almost. Not that I've ever had it that significantly, but I feel like I've definitely, some of the fat on my stomach has probably redistributed. And then my ass is quite juicy, uh, but I don't know if it's gotten juicier. And I also feel like my frame has changed slightly. I feel like when I look at pictures of myself, I look smaller, like it looks like I have this like big ass head on quite small shoulders. So I think that maybe something has happened to like the broadness of my shoulders or like the impression of it at least, maybe like my muscles. I don't know how that works, but I feel like my body has changed a little bit, but it's not like a significant amount. How do you experience emotions differently on E versus T? Um, I can't say I really experienced them that differently. I think maybe how I feel empathy has changed a little bit, whereas before I think I was intellectualizing it a bit more, or I was kind of thinking the empathy, now I feel it. Like I very much take on the emotions of that situational person. And I also feel a lot easier moved by things, like if something's very beautiful or very touching to me, it moves me more. I feel like a pressure build up like in my forehead or in my throat where I want to like cry, which didn't come as easily to me before. Anger, um, not really worth commenting on. I rarely ever feel angry. I never experienced like a rise in anger when I was on T. Not, not changed, I don't think. I can't say that I experience any like massive changes in my mood throughout the month either. Maybe that's because I have an irregular cycle. I asked Kai if there were any changes that I couldn't think of and he was like, it's not really a change, it's more of a like, he expected me to maybe be more hormonal throughout the month, but um, I haven't noticed any big effects on that. Yeah, I guess. Has going off testosterone worse and your dysphoria? It has, and that was very unexpected and very like weird. It's nowhere at the point that it was pre-T and pre-top surgery and everything, but when it came back, I was really kind of taken aback by it because I thought maybe I'd figured out the origins of my dysphoria and, you know, that I could deal with it because I was like more open-minded to gender now or whatever, but then it came back. And I was like, oh shit, I kind of forgot how this felt. So it's nowhere as bad, but it's definitely something I do need to work through. So now we get to the more exciting part of the video where I can actually make reflections and stuff. So again, why did I go off testosterone? I've already established that it was, you know, what set it off was my hair thinning. 
but there was something else there that also made that choice a bit easier because you know I tried minoxidil and it really irritated my scalp but I didn't really seek out many different hair treatments I didn't go to the doctor you know if staying on tea was something I really really wanted to I could have done more so there was something that made this choice feel not so hard to make you know, I've been on tea for six years and I felt comfortable in myself and it no longer felt like this lifeline that I needed to hold on to. I think I was maybe curious to see if I could accept and embrace certain parts of myself that I never really got to know. What are some of the outcomes you wanted by stopping tea? Again, the hair thing. Um, but I think I kind of wanted to see what was beneath the surface and seeing if I could live my life and live happily without depending on an exterior like like treatment. I had also been leading up to going off my antidepressants. When I started my antidepressants I was struggling with a lot of weird mental health issues and now those have improved I think also by the fact that there's a lot less stress in my life in general and a lot of that stress was coming from dysphoria and being trans and being young and I'm in such a different place in my life and I'm a lot more happier I have a lot more resources and I just I'm in a much better place so I wanted to see if I still needed those and I think it was kind of the same thing with my testosterone in that I wanted to see what it would be like now that I'm that I'm in such a different place and I'm a lot more secure in myself to stop that treatment to see if I'm fine on my own. This I would obviously never say to anyone else, like stop your medical treatment and just find different ways of dealing with it. Like, but I felt like for me, at this point in my life, I didn't need it as much anymore. Maybe I will in the future and then I will do that when it feels right. But right now I think I needed to just explore a bit more. Okay, next question. Um, how has your perception of yourself and your relationship with your body changed? Not that it's a direct consequence of stopping testosterone, but by making that choice, I was kind of like asserting for myself, myself and establishing for myself that I was going to work on myself. I, I needed to love myself more. By kind of stripping myself completely bare and seeing myself in a way that felt more vulnerable. And I think it also, opened the door for me in many ways to look at and shine light on things that I had been repressing because I felt like being trans meant one thing. There was a path you were supposed to take and choices you were meant to make and a certain progression you were meant to have and what that would look like. And after kind of fulfilling all of those steps, you know, starting tea, having top surgery, um, now passing as a man, I was like, well, what's next then? Because I realised that didn't feel completely authentic. It became like about reaching a goal and there were certain checkpoints along the way that I wanted to reach and that I needed to reach and that aligned with me and what I needed then. But then I got to the other side and I realised there's more work to do. Seeing transness on a more holistic level, on it being not about reaching certain goals, but to getting to know yourself on a deeper level. And I think I lost track of that, especially when you're young and you're all struggling with the same things and you all have the same goals and you're in a friend group of other people and then someone starts tea and you're so happy for them, but you're also so fucking jealous that like, why couldn't that be me? And it's kind of this whole comparison, or comparison thing. To be completely honest, I think it's still part of me and I think it's definitely shaped me in certain ways and like the trans medicalist mindset and stuff, although I feel like I've moved on from that very much, it's still something that was foundational in what I saw trans as being and I still feel a bit like credit almost for starting tea so young and for coming out so young 
because for a long time it made me one of those like OG trans people on YouTube, if you get what I mean. That made certain boundaries for me and set certain limitations for me, or I put those onto myself because I was so caught up in that mindset. And then I started feeling like I was being inauthentic when being trans was all about like living your most authentic life. And I realised that I'm not binary and that kind of made everything fall apart a little bit because that was my identity. And I worked so hard on shaping that identity and kind of proving it to others. Yeah. I need to actually get to know myself now because there's more to my experience. There's more of myself I'm meant to see. And so now it's about kind of tearing down those limitations I put myself or put on myself based on expectations of what I was supposed to look like as a trans man. So it's been healthy to distance myself from that a little bit and I think that stopping tea helped me do that. Okay, would younger you have understood or accepted that you went off tea? This is a really good question that I really love. And for me, I think so. Because when I was 16, in the months leading up to testosterone, you know, there had been this huge build-up of a, several years of me, like, fighting for this treatment and fighting the medical system for this treatment and turbulence, like, within my family. What if after all of that build-up, I found out that it wasn't right for me? What if I felt like I made the wrong choice, you know? And that really, really scared me. And I knew within myself that, like, I could only start this treatment if I was comfortable with the idea that one day I would stop. And I don't know where this came from, this motivation, but I just knew with myself that I would not be ready to start it if I wasn't comfortable with stopping it one day. And I'm really happy about that now because it made it a lot easier for me, I think rather than having the expectation that I would be on this for the rest of my life, because I didn't know. I didn't know that I'd stop, but I also wanted to give myself the opportunity to make my own choices years from now, and not just go with what I expected at 16. I kind of exposed myself to a lot of, you know, different content, like online, like I was on Reddit, I was on random blogs or websites, I was on YouTube to hear from people who had stopped testosterone. And back then there wasn't as much like turf ideology. So I was very comforted by that. And by videos like the one I'm making now, I guess. Wow, we'll come full circle. I'm just editing this now and I wanted to add something to it because a thought just popped into my mind. That the reason why I did this was because I wanted to alleviate any potential pressure that I'd feel if I changed my mind. I wanted to make sure that I did not make this decision because I felt pressured to, but because I genuinely wanted and needed to. And looking back now at 16, I remember, you know, I, I felt, I knew that I was young, but I still felt like a whole person. And I was a person, of course. But it, it also dawns on me now that like, I was so young. Like 16 year old me was so, so young. And I think it was very mature of me to to make sure that I did this because I wanted to and not because I felt pressured or expected to. I feel quite impressed by 16 year old me for making an effort to be that aware of where my motivations for this big life decision came from. Um, good job. High five to you. He's on this channel somewhere, my 16 year old self. So good job. I'm very, I'm very proud of you. You did great. But yeah, I, younger me would have definitely been hyped that I was making my own choices. I needed it at the time. I understood that maybe that would change in the future. But it's, but I don't see it as something that like, I could have delayed. Like had I not started tea at 16 and had delayed it until now where I don't really need it anymore. It's not how it works. Had I not done this, I would never have been able to move past it. It's something that I needed to do. And to be entirely truthful, I don't know how to say this without being angsty, but being like completely candid here, had I not started T when I did, I would have ended my life. It was absolutely the treatment I needed. 
and I am so happy that I was given the opportunity. Had I wanted to detransition back into a woman, I would have done that, but I had no I had had no business regretting ever going on tea because looking back, there's nothing anyone or me could have done. It needed to be like this. But that's also not to say that that's what I needed forever. You know, you change and you grow and I am happy with where it's led me. And I'm happy that I've been able to keep progressing. Not keep progressing. Because it's not, it's not about that, it's not a linear, like, thing, but I'm happy that I'm able to continue to unfold, is what I mean, and explore different parts of myself. I feel like I got a bit lost in words then. It's a very broad topic, and it's not as simple as just, like, reporting on this has changed, this has stayed the same, but it's a very immersive experience, and something I need. Um, I can go on about this more in the future, but that's at least a small insight into <laughs> my thoughts and feelings about this. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, and I hope that you got something out of this video. Thank you for watching it. I hope you're all well and enjoying autumn, and I shall talk to you later. Bye!